So the next question we shall ask as it will lead us directly to the heart of the gravest threats facing humanity is how did Israel acquire its hundreds of nuclear weapons? This is a, a US technology but as the, the US law forbidden to transfer this technology um, during the, the years uh, 50 the, the US government uh, broking the US law give this uh, uh, technology to the French government with the idea that the French government will transfer the technology to Israel. The Israeli leadership uh, wanted nuclear weapons desperately as far back as the 1950s. They viewed this as indispensable to their survival and expansion. And the great global financial powers behind Israel were of course quite friendly to this because they, they're using Israel as, as I said, their organized crime base. The Israeli agent uh, Shimon Peres has his own office inside the office of the French Prime Minister. Yes, that's strange, isn't it? And uh, they organized the transfer of technology to, to Israel. And after that, uh, the problem of the Israelis was to, uh, uh, to experiment this technology. Of course, they don't have um, the land for that in Israel. So they make an agreement with uh, the, the apartheid regime in South Africa, which is exactly the same regime that in, uh, that in Israel. In the 1960s, there was a tremendous battle between President John F. Kennedy and uh, the Israeli government headed by Ben-Gurion over this program. Ben-Gurion was determined to achieve nuclear weapons. Kennedy was equally determined to stop him. The result was that Kennedy uh, died and he was replaced by Lyndon Johnson, a Zionist puppet uh, who was completely controlled by the Zionist lobby on all Middle East issues and Johnson turned around and essentially handed the Israelis their nuclear weapons. Since then, the program, is, which is somewhat shrouded in secrecy, it's a deniable program, but they don't deny it very seriously, has grown. Many estimates have about 400 Israeli nuclear weapons, and there are uh, reports, unconfirmed by mainstream sources, of course, that the Israelis actually have miniature nuclear weapons planted in cities in the West, and particularly in the United States. Uh, and so this is the world's most dangerous nuclear program. Nuclear weapons are in the hands of terrorist madmen, and those are the terrorist madmen of the government of Tel Aviv. Well, the uh, bottom line of the Israeli nuclear program is the so-called Samson option. This is a form of extreme nuclear blackmail. If the world doesn't go along with Israel, especially in a situation where Israel felt that its existence as an apartheid Jewish state and crime base for the world's biggest banksters is ever threatened, then it will blow up the capitals of Europe as well as the Middle East and implicitly they're also threatening the United States. Uh, though they may not have missiles that can reach the United States, as I said, there are reports in the intelligence community that in fact Israel has planted miniature nuclear weapons in American cities. I remember in the 1970s uh, being in a, a conference, uh, a big hall in uh, Toronto at, at the medical school and there was a very famous Jewish professor who was an expert in Hegel. I don't remember his name. But he announced to the group, uh, to the whole audience, he said, you, you know, if Israel is ever going to go down, if we're going to go down, we're not going to let what happened to us during World War II ever happen again. If we're going to go down, we're going to take the rest of the world with us. Members of Congress, I have the high privilege and the distinct honor of presenting to you His Excellency Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel. Thank you very much.